All right, boys and girls, we're going to start. I don't know if you just watched the next video. We're going to start in the next part, which planes. Now, remember, we dealt, we dealt with, let's go back and look at the definition very fast. Look at the definition on vertical forms with relief. So we're talking about the variation of height and how high something is and how low something is from sea level, of course. Now, that elevation is varied because of plains, plateaus, mountains, and valleys. And we're gonna study each one of those in depth. Today, we're gonna study plateau, or not plateaus, we're gonna study plains, okay? Um, so let's start off with the very first one. So there's three kinds of plains on the planet, okay? Only three that we know of. For, well, let's identify first what a plane is, okay? It's not like, hey, man, that, that show was really plain or this egg was really plain. Okay, that's not what it means. Now, we're going to talk about planes. So plane and not like an airplane. All right, this is different. It's spelled differently. So let's start off with planes. Yes. Planes occupy nearly... one half now notice i put a little dash in there students so put your dash half of the surface of the continents notice Planes occupy almost one half of the surface of the continents. That means almost 50% of all the land is what? Plains. Okay? So plains are a lot of the land, okay? Continents and are a flat. or level area of land. Now I want you to underline this. Flat or level? What does level mean, right? Is this book level? No. Is it level? No. Is it level? Pretty much, okay? It's like flat, it means it's, you know, it's the same. You can just, Right? Okay, so that's very important. Now notice that 50% of the earth, nearly 50% of the earth is what? Or nearly 50% of all the land is flat. Do you think that's good or bad? That's probably very good because it's easier to build on flat land than it is to build cities and stuff in mountains. It can be done, but it's a lot easier on flat land, okay? Um, but even though they are flat, they still have different That's right, they have different they have different what? Surfaces and characteristics. All right, so they have different surfaces. So you have different kinds of planes, all right? They're not all the same. They're gonna, they have different surfaces. That means the top of them are different, right? And different characteristics it means they don't all look the same or feel the same, right? They operate differently. So what's the very first kind of planes that we have? Let's say it together, alluvial planes. They're called alluvial planes. Now, what are alluvial planes? Now, we're going to erase this, and we're going to define what an alluvial plane is. So you can always pause it if you need to. I'm going to step aside, pause it. All right. Okay. What is an alluvial plane? So we have three different kinds of planes. Okay. So, of course, you can look ahead in your paper. You can see that we have alluvial planes, we have marine planes, and we have undulating planes undulating planes. Now you can probably guess what the marine planes are, right? Okay, these are level. So the alluvial, these 
our level and our form Let me write my D nicely because we have good we should have good chemistry, right? Formed of deposited minerals from overflowing rivers. Flowing rivers. So they're probably close to what? They're probably close to rivers. Okay. So the river gets really full, it overflows, and all those extra, um, all those materials and stuff from the overflowing form a plane, an alluvial plane. You can see an example of that down here below. Okay. So let's write, let's write some examples. So let's put example. This would be something called like the Mississippi Delta. That's an alluvial plain. Another one would be the Nile. Even though that's a river, right around right around the Nile, there is there is some some plains, okay? And close close to and the Ganges rivers. So this one, the, the Mississippi Delta, and we'll we'll look more. I'll look more into these when you're in class so we can show you some videos and stuff. But the Mississippi Delta is in North America. The Nile area, that is in Africa. And the Ganges is in, is in India. And so this would be Asia, North America, and, um, and Africa. Okay? All right, so those are some examples of some plains that are formed by rivers that are overflowing. Okay? Now, let's go to the next one. The marine plains. So what do you think are some things that flow out of rivers when they're overflowing? Probably some rocks and sticks, mud, sand. Okay, so probably that's probably the consistency of those of those of those plains. Now, um, so let's go to our marine plains. Let's go to the marine plains. These have slight inequalities. and have been formed under seawater. Such as sandy plains near salt lakes and the Atlantic, that's the Atlantic Ocean coastline. All right? So these kind of plains have been formed under water. So you can see that it's been under the salt water, okay, or near salt lakes and the Atlantic coastline. Okay? So the inequality of, of, of surface means they're not all the surface is not all the same. It can be it's different substances in there, okay? Now we have what are the undulating plains, okay? And we'll finish up with this one. Like I said, we're gonna we're gonna learn more a little bit more about these, 
as when we come back to class, we're going to watch a few videos on each of these types of planes so we can see. We're going to watch some videos on how these things are formed as well, which would be really kind of cool. We don't have time to go into that into that right now, but we are going to learn about how they how they do form because it will be interesting to see how the marine planes marine planes form because they form under the water. Okay, and then the water recedes and it leaves the leaves the plane there. But notice when you sometimes when you put water on something, it smooths out the smooths out the dirt or it cuts rivets and stuff like that. So it creates kind of a flat surface. Because remember, planes are what? Flat or level. They're not tilted, right? They're not bouncy, they're flat. Okay. So what are an undulating planes? And what are some examples? These have varied surface elevations. So So elevations, okay? That means some of these planes can be higher and some of these planes can be lower. So you have you have some undulating planes that are high up, they have a high altitude and some that have low altitude, okay? But it's not that they go like this, right? You just have, you might, you could have planes up in, even up in the mountains, couldn't you? So you have mountain, so you could have, you could have some mountains that start going up and then they just have some flat lands like this, right? This right here could be a plane, you see? Because it's flat land. All right. Now we're going to understand how that's different than a plateau. So don't, don't let's not get confused with that. All right. So they can have different elevations, meaning you can have some, you can have some undulating planes that are low, closer to sea level and some that are really high off of sea level. All right. Now here's an example. We have some that are, let's put an example. So near the Mississippi, near the Mississippi River Basin. Now, students, Samuelito, Adrian, Saez, Estrella, Brielle, Jasmine, Daniela, Josiah, and Samuel, notice how Mississippi River is capitalized because it's a proper noun. Now, noun is a person, place, thing, or idea. This is a thing, but it's a proper noun, which means we capitalize it because it's a specific person, place, thing, or idea. So whenever we write Samuelito's name, we always capitalize his name, Samuelito. So Samuelito, on your papers, and make sure everybody writes your name on your papers, I want to make sure that you have a capital letter for your name because it's a proper noun. Okay, but Mississippi River is a specific river. So we capitalize Mississippi, capitalize river, don't capitalize basin, okay? Um, and the... Appalachian Mountains. Now notice I have Appalachian Mountains capitalized because it's a specific Appala specific noun. It's the Appalachian Mountains. Now the undulating plains are not the mountains. They are, there are undulating plains in the Appalachian Mountains. So you can go up into the mountains and you can find plains. Now look at your picture of the plains there. How many of you have read the Little House on the Prairie books? All right? A prairie is also called a, a it's also called a, or a prairie can also be a, a plain as well. So I thought I had that written down here somewhere, but in a, I guess I don't. But we could also call these, we can also call these, this is right here, right here, right, prairies. Okay, prairies, like Little House on the Prairie, because it's just a bunch of flat land, okay? So, what are the three types of planes? We have alluvial planes, we have marine planes, and we have undulating planes. And like I said, when we come back to class, we're going to watch some videos about, about some of those. All right, so that's it for geography. I think we've got everything done. Make sure you have your name and date on your papers. Names and dates are important so that we do not forget where they go and who they belong to when I have to grade them. All right, you know that for your literature, you just have to write a three to five page, or three to five page, three to five sentence paragraph about Mary's kindness to others. 
you've got your sedimentary rocks, which you're doing for science, so those should be pretty easy. And then you're doing your math and your history and Bible. Mr. Plum is getting those uploaded. So boys and girls, we'll see you after Christmas. Have a wonderful Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Have a great New Year's, and we'll see you back next year. Call me if you have any questions. Bye.